Hi, I'm George, and I'll be showing you how you can add a custom instrument to a note block here inside of Minecraft. Now, if you like this video, hit that like button, click on share, click on subscribe, check out my channel for a bunch more Minecraft videos, and let's take a look and see what this note block stuff is all about. First, a quick description here for anybody who's not familiar with note blocks. Those are note blocks up there. And let's start off by just making a notebook. These are very easy to do. Take your crafting table and in here, take some planks, just put a bunch of planks, doesn't matter what planks they are. Just go right around the outside like that and then put a redstone dust in the middle. And there you go. There's your note block. They're that easy to make. Okay. Now, the way the note blocks work is that they have an instrument that they play and the instrument depends upon what it's sitting on. I have three different things down here. I have a hay bale right there and this gives you kind of a banjo sound like that one. This one's on stone. Kind of a guitar sound. And this one over here, we're going to be changing this. This is normally a cowbell. Let me just switch that over right now. Here's my new sound for this. Kind of a glockenspiel. Let's just switch this back. I'm going to change the resource pack on that back to the default resource pack. Let's get my new pack out of there, back into the game again. And we'll hear what that kind of boring sound is, the boring cowbell sound. There you go, pretty dull. Okay, let's switch our resource packs again and put back the new pack. And it's right down here, let's find that again. There we go, and restart. And done, back to game. There we go. So you can see here that the material changes the sound and you get that one sound out of this. Now, if you right click, it's going to change the note that it's playing. It just keeps on going up one note. There's about 25 total notes. When you get clear to the top, it'll go back to the beginning again. There it is. So you tune it that way. Once you have it set to the note you want, it then plays that note. Now you can string these all together using redstone. I just have a real simple redstone circuit here and I have repeaters used to add in a delay. Hit the play right here. Okay, that's the basic idea. So now that we have all that, let me show you how you can put your own sound, like we did here with the glockenspiel sound, into one of these and replace the sound that you don't want with a new sound that you do want. Now the first note that it plays, right here, that's an F sharp. And that's the note that you need to get. So you need to have an F sharp in whatever sound it is that you want to have. It's easiest if you do this on a synthesizer. Just find your sound you want and then record that F sharp key. And that's that one right there. There it is, so that gives you your F sharp. Okay, let's now switch over to the desktop and I'll show you how to change that to the instrument that you want to be using. Okay, the first two things you need to start is a place to build your resource pack and I have one here, I just called this Note Blocks. Put it on my C drive and you need to have your sound. I have mine right here. Now all this is, is just an F sharp with a glockenspiel voice that I played on a keyboard, on a synthesizer. I did it two or three times and found one that I liked and then I use that one. So that's all it is. It's just that one note, about half a second long. If it's going to be a real short kind of a note, something that makes a real kind of short note, then you can go shorter on that. Don't go much longer. They're going to begin overlapping if you're doing music. So you want to keep it a relatively short one. This again, just about half a second long. Okay, now we need to convert this over into the AUG format and we need to have this replacing the right file. In this case, I want to have this replacing the cowbell file. Let me bring up a little list that I made. Here we go. You can download this from my website. There's a link for that in the description. And this gives you two things. First off, it gives you the name of the file that you want to replace. We'll be doing this cowbell. And also the folder structure that that sits inside of. So we need to make all of that stuff. And then down below, there's a second list in here. This just shows you which kind of block that should be sitting on to give you that sound. So you put your note block on one of these different blocks in here, and it will give you this instrument over there for your note block. Okay. We want to be doing that cowbell right there. So I need to rename this cowbell. I'll just do that right now. I'm going to put this right here so we can see this as I do that renaming it. So first let's rename this cowbell. 
It's still an MP3 file. Now we need to convert this MP3 file over into an OGG file. That has to be done in a sound editing app. You can't just retype that. It has to be done in an app. Now I like using a program called Audacity. It's free and it's a great sound editor. Let me bring that program up. There we go. Now you can just drag and drop your sound file in here if you want to. Let me bring up that folder. There it is. I'll just drag it in like that. There we go. Okay, that's out of the way. So there we go. That's my sound file right here. Now, if you're doing an editing, go ahead and get all that stuff out of the way. Mine's already been taken care of. So all we need to do now is just to save this over to the OGG file format. For that, go up to File, come down to Export right here, and Export as OGG. Make sure you're going to the right location. There it is. Mine's correct. Note blocks. Choose Save. OK again. And that's done. That's now taken care of. Let's now just close this down. And there it is. There's a new file. Now mine has this kind of cone shape thing. All that means is that I'm using the VLC media player to play my AUG files. If you're using a different program for that, you'll have a different icon. That's all that is. Just make sure it says .ogg right there. We can now build a resource pack for this. So I'll bring back up my list. There we go. And I want to make this folder structure here, Minecraft Sounds and Note, and then put our new sound file in that location. So the first thing you need is an Assets folder. Click on New Folder and Assets. There we go. Inside of this one, you need a new folder. This is Minecraft. Inside of here, new folder, Sounds. Inside of here, new folder, Note. And inside of this is where that sound file goes. Let's go ahead and take care of that. I'm just going to take this AUG file and just drag it in here into Assets, drag it into the Minecraft folder. Inside there, drag it into Sounds. Inside there, and drag it into Note. And there we go, it's all set to go. Let's just set this at large icons. So it's now sitting in the right location in that folder. So that part of this is done. Now all I need to do is to bring in a pack.mc meta file and a pack.png file. And for that, I'll bring up the launcher. Let's just get this out of the way first. There we go. Okay, here's the launcher. Now go up where it says installations right there. And over here, there's a little folder right there. Click on that. And this brings up the Minecraft folder. Come down to where it says versions right here. Open this up. In here, find your version. We're on 116.5. That's right here. Open this one up. Inside of here, you should see a jar and a JSON file. If you don't see that as extensions right there, then go over here to view. And right there, find them extensions. And you'll then see the .jar and .json. We want to copy that .jar over into our working folder. Then bring that folder up. There we go. I'll just put that right there. And then I'm going to right drag this in and copy. And there it is. Okay, now we need to open this up. Let's just change this. I'm just going to click on this one time and then type over the jar and make it say zip. Click outside, say yes. That's now done. It's just a regular zip file. Now we can open this thing up. I'm going to right click on this and I'll choose open in new window. There it is. Now in here, I'm going to scroll way down near the bottom. It's all the way down here someplace, just about there. And there it is. Here's the pack MC meta and here's the pack PNG file. Now grab both of these and then right drag over here and copy. There we go. We no longer need this. You can get rid of that zip file, hit the delete key, and that's taken care of. Okay, now you don't have to do anything else with this. You can just zip these up, that's fine. If you want to change the description, you can go ahead and do that in the pack MC meta. Just double click. I have mine opening up in Notepad++. It's a free program. The pack format is already correct because we're opening up the one from the version that we're using. But up here on the description, you can change the description if you want to right there. Let's call this one Note Block. Maybe Custom Note Block. Okay, Custom Note Block. Save, and that's taken care of. Now the pack PNG, this is just a square image. It's at 128 by 128 pixels. If you want to use your own, that's all you have to do. It's square and it's a PNG. I like using 256 by 256. I'll frequently use my own icon in here for that. And this time I'll just leave it as the plain dirt block. Now hold your control key down, click on assets, pack MC meta and pack PNG. Go over here to the share tab and click zip. That zips it all up. Let's just give this one a name here. I'll call it note block. And that's now done. Now, all we need to do is to put this into the resource pack folder. So let's go back over here again to our other file folder. Go back where it says .minecraft. And then come down to resource packs right there. Open that up. And all we need to do now is just to take this and drag it in there. Let me just get this so you can see that. Just drag it over here. There it is. It's now inside the game. That's all there is to it. Let's go ahead and close that. Let's close this. 
and let's play that game. Click on play and we'll see how that works. Look here, back in the game, I'll just switch my view right here and let's check our sound. Okay, that's the default sound. And just back up a bit here so you can see this. There we go. It's our default sound. Now, let's switch that resource pack. Go to Options, Resource Packs, and we'll add on our new resource pack, and that's right down here someplace. And there it is. Bring that over. Okay. Choose Done. Let that reload our new resource pack in, and we'll then double check, make sure that our note block is now playing the new Glockenspiel sound. Choose Done. Back to Game. And let's check that. There it is. And there we go. So that's all there is to it to change the instruments inside of your note blocks. And if you like this video, hit that like button, click on share, click on subscribe. Make sure you check out my channel for a bunch more Minecraft videos and I'll see you next time.